Hello everyone and Happy New Year for 2017. It's been a while since the last uh, video and I'm sorry for the delay but I received uh, this particular vision on December 28th and it started off with a mask for underwater. So here this mask for underwater it's looking at you but you need to turn it around so that you are looking into the mask. So try to picture it looking away from you so that you're looking into the mask. And then from that, you just see these houses and they're underwater. And the date, so here the date of the vision was December 28th. And you could see the light coming down from the, the top of the water. So the water coming down, lots and lots of sparkle lots of shining you know the light, light from coming down uh, fr from coming through the water there was just lots and lots of you know reflection so so as you're looking through the glass looking through the two goggles you could just see sparkling sparkling you know from the light coming down but you just see that it's homes and it's like oh my goodness you know just homes underwater so our Lord is trying to warn us and I tried to ask, you know, like, can you give me a location? Can you give me some kind of location of where this is? You know, if it's America, if you could tell me East Coast, West Coast, you know, the somewhere. Um, you know, if we could, you know, just some place, you know, that I, we could warn the, the people. It could be the whole planet, you know, you could say Earth, you know, just sit some place, you know, just give me some place. And, and so I heard him say, like, some in Greece or like some place in Greece I don't know if I no I didn't write it down okay and so this is where it's like, okay well he could be showing us that there could be flooding coming in Greece but this is where it's like well it could be anywhere so go ahead and and so I, I recommend that we can all pray for the lukewarm you know pray for people to take Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and so I don't who's gonna what what's gonna cause this flood and could it be the possible asteroid hit from uh, you know as originally given um, from Efrain Rodriguez it was you know a prophecy he gave you know back in the early 2000 saying you know that an asteroid would come down and hit Puerto Rico and uh, but yeah a big hit like that would definitely cause a lot of flooding um, and so this is, you know, just the vision, and I want to give that to you all before, you know, before more days pass by. And I do have some other videos that I'm going to give you in just a minute. I've actually been doing a lot of research concerning cancer and autism. Uh, my mom has a friend who has a son in, with autism, and I have also have friends, you know, with, that are uh, afflicted, and their children, you know, have autism. And, um, you know, then also I, my mom has friends that have cancer, and, you know, and yeah. And so this is where it's like, yep, you know, just look, research, research. And I found something interesting and something that's actually curing people with cancer, curing people with autism. Now, this is just a link, you know, for people, um, if they don't know about the RFID chip, uh, this goes into more information about that. And please do not take the chip. And that, and so it's just a nice video that some people did a documentary about it, and and so it's a good video there. Okay, so the information that I found out concerning cancer is that there is a product or something the body creates on its own, and it's called GCMAF, and MAF is the word macrophage. Let me go to here. Let me go to here, and so let's see. So this is a company, and the website is gcmaf.se, and it's a place in Europe, and they sell to Europe. You know, they, they, they have been able to sell their product in Europe and also in Canada, and that will say from 100 children that 85% of them became, um, they, they were, they got rid of their autism. So 100 children with autism, they were given the GCMAF as injections for like a period of two weeks. And after that time, they were freed from the autism. 
so they were cured. So wow, that's great. Where is it? Bring it to America. <laughs> and it turns out that in uh, something with the United States regulations that they are not allowed to bring it into America. Like there's a roadblock that is stopping this company from being able to give this information, this uh, th this GCMAF, you know, injections to the children in on America, and so the autistic children in America are not able to be cured, and so they're they're working on trying to figure out, you know, how to be able to ship to America. Um, but there is something called GCMAF as a yogurt, and so this person, um, and so I'm going to give you the link, you know, how to make GCMAF at home. And he says he creates it using, um, like putting it as a yogurt and being able to eat it, you know, in the morning, in the, in the morning and in the evening. And so he uses, and, and so in, in the next pages, I want to show you the links. And so one of them is a probiotic of uh, 400 billion uh, probiotics. And um, you use one teaspoon at a time. And so this is from New Zealand. And then it also uh, the yogurt uses one tablespoon of colostrum, and he uses this brand of uh, yogurt, you know, the to make the yogurt cultures. And so all this stuff, I want to give you the links to, so in case you have family that have cancer, and, and uh, you can try to see, well, what about making this GCMAF yogurt? Is this the same thing as that other medicine in Europe that they're not able to bring into the country? Okay, and then one of the last things he does for his yogurt is when he takes like a one serving quantity, like a cup, he puts one drop of uh, vitamin D3 and K2 oil in the yogurt and then he, and then that's when he takes it. Okay. So let me go back to the video. Okay, and so I have like in this video here, GCMAF activation just talks about it. You know what GCMAF is, um, and then there's been doctors that are saying that the product Nalganase, that this product is, they believe it may be injected into the children's vaccinations, and that it may be stopping kids. From, and, and, and us adults, you know, from being able to create GCMAF in the future, and then therefore we are not able to fight off uh, cancer. So why is it that people are not able to fight off cancer when they're older? There's a lot more cancer nowadays, and it may have to do with the vaccinations, injecting nalganase into people, stopping our GCMAF um, production. But when you take that when you inject the GCMAF into yourself now when you maybe you know when we eat this yogurt now and then that the new GCMAF it fights off the cancer and it, it should fight off you know breast cancer cells and all those and um, and this uh, video has uh, has the GCMAF fighting off breast cancer cells so that's why I, I refer to it right I'm pretty sure that's the one okay and um, and so yeah, doctors, if if they're trying to say that it's the vaccines, uh, being in, uh, containing the the nalganase in it, and then the doctors are kind of being killed. It's like oh no, that you know they don't want the the like the big companies or, or the um, big pharmaceutical companies that make the vaccinations. Uh, they don't want the doctors talking about that, and so the doctors are being killed, which is horrible. But let's spread the word about. GCMAF, that there's a cure for cancer, a cure for autism, and here's the information. I'm going to just add it all this into the description field. And then this is if you wanted to purchase that probiotic stuff, you know, that I showed you. So that's the link to that, the link to the colostrum, you know, the link to that particular yogurt culture, uh, which the yogurt culture uses to quarts of milk at a time and so that's why in the video he doubles the number of spoons so you you may notice that and then also the here 
I don't believe this is the exact same one that the person uses, but this is similar. Okay, I hope you had a happy new year. Lots of fireworks. Uh, our future is dim. <laughs> it's underwater. Uh, but this is where we just need to pray. And we say thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for warning us, for giving us this information, for helping us, you know, to be able to spread and uh, spread the information, you know, of, um, you know, like fr from, because I was asking, you know, our Lord to help me with the cancer research and here he brought me to this. And so now yeah, that's why I'm giving it to you so that we can spread the information and hopefully heal people with cancer. Okay, thanks everyone and God bless.